in the huts. It's early to bed and early to rise. After a quick breakfast, we're on to the next leg of our route. Since each day you try to cover about 10 miles, it's important to eat and stay hydrated as you go. Fortunately, the Tour de Mont Blanc's enjoyable combination of wilderness and commerce means the trail is well developed for the needs of hikers along the way. And small shops are ideal for assembling a rustic picnic. A day's hike is punctuated by encounters with the mountain culture, like a dairy farm making cheese pretty much the way they have for generations. The farmer's focused on his work and proud of his product. He treats us to a sample. Mm. And we buy a nice slice for the trail. Clearly, cheese is the energy bar of the Tour de Mont Blanc. Tonight, we're sleeping in a bigger refuge. This one's a bit more remote, high above the tree line, but with the same hearty food, simple dormitories, and great company. The next morning, the convenience of the baggage transfer service is obvious, as bags are taken to a variety of destinations depending on each hiker's plan. As we head out on what'll be my last day on the trail, I realize that after so many decades, I'm enjoying a brand new European experience, an experience I wouldn't have found without a great guide like Cassandra. Cass, what are the most important things people should know when they're hiking like this? You know, there are only really three big things that you need to think about. The first one is be prepared for time in the outdoors. So at a minimum, you need good shoes, some great layers, a solid backpack, and a good map. Number two is be really proactive about your comfort when you're on trail. So eat before you're hungry, drink before you're thirsty, and the moment that anything feels uncomfortable, if it's your backpack or your shoes, just stop and take care of it before you go on. And finally. Don't be intimidated by all of the gear or the athletic nature of walking. You don't need to be a hiker. You don't need to be a super athlete to enjoy this kind of travel. Because look at my gear and look at what shape I'm in and I'm having a blast. Right, it's not about exercise. This kind of thing is best when you slow down. So there's a hut around every corner. Stop and take a coffee. Or in the afternoon, have a victory beer if you had a big climb. When you find a stream, soak your feet. That's really how you enjoy this. It's like you're on vacation. It should be fun. Cassandra's hiking the rest of the route, but my luggage is back in Chamonix, and I will be too, in time for dinner. I hope you've enjoyed our look at this corner of France, the great city of Lyon, the mountain resort of Chamonix, and something new for me, a sample of a classic European long distance hike. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rick Steves. Until next time, keep on traveling.